Hey, what's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to be putting on the rear servo for the MT-18 and getting rear steer going. So this is the RER-21791 kit. Um, it does come with the 4 kilogram Metal Gear servo. Some parts here, which they tell you what they're for. None of them pertain to this vehicle, so you can pretty kick that aside. Um, but one of these screws we are going to need, so... Um, for the servo horn so just kick one of them aside grab the servo and i'm going to time this see how long it takes to do this um and we'll you know they said it's really easy so i'm going to literally time it and try to stay on it the whole time and see exactly how long it takes I'll probably do a fast forward video on this as i go so we're just going to go ahead and get these three screws off here uh the two on each side of this plate and that one there So this is a 1.5 millimeter. Okay. All right, two screws off, that's off, or three I should say. So let's pop our servo one there. So I'm guessing here guys, I'm gonna put the horn this way. It's the opposite of what it is on the front. Get the servo horn out of the Red Cat packaging. We are going to have to power the vehicle up so that we can center this. So we'll do that in a second. Gotta figure out how to run this up here. It does look like uh, there is, it's hard to see, but there is another port on this two-in-one receiver under there. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed this right now, kinda the best way I can. So I'm gonna remove this zip tie that's on here now. Just so I can feed this in here the right way. All right, and that slides right up in there. And then this one goes right on top of it. Yep, this is channel one and channel three. So again, I gotta get power to this thing, let it center. I'll worry about cleaning all that up in a little bit. She is a little crab walk action. <laughs> All right, let's get this horn on here. Oh, yeah, I gotta get her powered. Let me get my battery. Now, mind you, this is also a 750 milliamp battery, which I didn't cover in the unboxing video, but I did put the notation up there. But a lot of companies, like I mentioned, the Max Smasher, you got your axials and things like that. People can turn into kind of monster trucks if they want. But they all give you like a 450. Right Cat's actually stepping it up and giving you a little more runtime out your box here with these uh, 750s. I think many people appreciate that. All right, it's on. Truck's on. So I'm guessing it went to center automatically because there is no control for this right now so we'll see how it works once i get a horn on here so i'm going to put the horn on how i think it should go okay and the screws they give you in this packaging are not um, 1.5 they're phillips these came with the servo, so I'm just going to use this one. No big deal to me, but upgrade that when I do the aluminum. All right, we'll throw this back in here. All right, she's in. Let's see what we got here. Oh. So it's 
like this. If I want to crab walk, I have to switch it manually. So it's a manual switch on this controller, which isn't the end of the world. I mean, it's cool to get you there, but like feasibly, like if you want to be able to crab walk or have it steer with you, that's what I want. I want to be able to have the rear steer steer. If I turn this way, I want it to turn that way automatically. And if I turn this way, that's how I wanted it to be. But this is how it is. Not ideal. But let's see what it does. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to put it down yet. Let's see how it does. I'll clean all this up in a minute. I want to go get this running. So with me not being prepared, not having batteries in the remote, I uh, had to take two minutes to go get batteries for the remote and stuff like that. Uh, I, it took me 10 minutes from the time I started this video till now. So um, probably overall, if you were ready, had your remote batteries run, good to go and all your stuff laid out, about five minutes to do this. Not a big deal. So, very quick, very easy. But let's get this thing down and see what she can do. And just for comparison purposes, there's your 110 scale LMTs. Pretty good size difference there. <laughs> I mean, you can literally crush this thing with one tire. Alright, let's see how this rear steer does. My brownie girl, you gonna get all excited here? She loves to go after these trucks. So that's all out. Around that rear steer a little bit here. Whoa. Little crab walk. Oh, I had to get some use it takes some time to get used to especially reversing it like when you're coming at you. Oh my god. I mean for the scale side, I tell you what, I love the cushion. I love the cushion on the tires when it hits. You can definitely tell the tires are giving it some bounce. Sorry, Brownie. <laughs> But yeah, guys, I mean, that's, you know, it is what it is. It's a little, it's definitely a spunky little trunk. And everybody's got their upgrades. You can go out, put the transmission in this thing. And even with me, you know, with, with the steering option on the GT5, it might be suited for me to go get, you know, a little faster motor for this thing, put the trans gears in it and call it a day you know what i mean as far as having my crab walking and stuff like that if i want it because it does take a little bit of time to get used to flipping that switch on and off and getting it to go the right way especially if you're coming at you It's got good bounce on the ground when he hits.
But that's pretty much it with this one, guys. Did the rear steer, checked it out. It's not ideal on this remote. But it's got potential. It's there. It was very easy to do, as Red Cat said it was. So that's plus. But, uh, you know, whether I'll use it functionally all the time or not, I don't know. Different remote, maybe. But little truck, guys. A lot of power. Does pretty good, man. I'm impressed with it. It's, it's fun. We could definitely uh, get two of these out and hold, like, a little mini solid axle competition or something. Uh, jumps great. Like I said, hits it bounces like almost like a real monster truck does <laughs> brownie approves so that's it guys i appreciate you guys if you guys have any questions i will have bundles with these that have the servos and things like that up but you have to contact me direct uh website will not be up probably till after the holiday year uh season so if you want to contact me direct all my information is usually always linked but as always that's my number it works you guys can call me find me on social media which I have not been on often, but I'm about to get back on and, and stay on that as well. So hopefully, uh, no, get off my tire. Hopefully you guys pick up one of these around the holiday season and have a blast. So I appreciate you guys and thank you for watching.